Uh, hello peeps. This is video 17 of the hiking around the island series. Starting here where I left off on video 16 on Wancho Cliffs. I left off. Yeah, it's been really rough. Solid wind for a week. Oh, here we go. Let's see if I can get to the King Big Garden side. Remember, I kind of got some ways through here. Yeah, shoes and long pants for this one. A lot of cash up. Now, which way did I go? Oh, they got a lot of cactus up here. Can't remember. I think I went higher up. Yeah, if I can guess, get about 500 feet through this. Down to that King Garden area. Yeah, that's where I came through. I recognize this. Yeah, it's a land of thorns and cactus, man. <laughs> Jumping cactus. Kasha. It's a good thing Manjack don't have thorns on it. Real dense. And I hope I could get through this though. I'm filming this part with this camera. That GoPro 7. Silver, I'm gonna film the other part with the other one. Yeah, I had already came through this way, snapped a little bit of a trail through here. That's what them cashew thorns look like. And they get big, some of these get like three inches long. And no joke. Yeah, I've never been through here. Definitely looks like animals watering through here. 
Okay, I'm not sure what I could get down in the cliffs here. Wow, that's super dense. Definitely don't want to come back this way. everywhere back track to this. Man Jacks, man. One thing about these thorns, don't get them in your knuckles, as I've already had three times. Gotta go to the doctor and get them cut out. Like if you're using a machete, when you're swinging a machete, if you hit your knuckles on a big thorn, like these guys, they go deep into your cartilage. And they fucked you up. <laughs> I had one in my one of my knuckles, man. I think went way in there. Took the doctor an hour to find it. So I respect these guys. Damn. I wonder if I could get down over there. I'm gonna cut through a yard once I get through this. Hopefully I get through it. Wow, that's dense. If I crawl all the way in there, I run into the cliffs. And bam, I have to come back. And if I go that way, I'm heading away from the, the coast. Ah, I'll try this way a little bit more. I'm afraid if I go down there and then I go through all that thick bush and then it drops off 40 feet. But this is definitely taking me away from the coast. Let's see what we got. Monkey puzzle. All the way out here. This stuff's got a nasty sap in it. That white milk. Don't get that shit on you. Beats your skin off. Yeah, maybe I could get through here. Man, if I'd have done this in short pants, man, I'd have been shredded. Cool if they cut a path through here to connect the two bays. Maybe a good hiking trail, you know. Ooh, getting hot in here. 
tamarind tree. I've been through areas on this island where it's basically impenetrable. There's so much thorns. It's an old brick from the plantation. Oh man, this is crazy dancing. My worry is I get up to the edge and I can't get down. I can get through here. Markers. This is the coast. How far does that drop off? Can't move along the edge. You gotta go back. Ah, it's pretty far down here. Think I could get down here. Ooh, a lot of thorns in there. I don't think I can get through there. That means I gotta go down by this little point. Oh, that's some big oil tankers, man. Yeah, I gotta go over that point. See if I can move along the edge. I'd be a bulldozer man. Man, I wish you could just get down here. Eye drops off. Crazy dance. Yeah, you don't want to bump up on these guys. Get those in your knuckles. Those kind of thorns are the worst. Because they're white. They look like flesh. When you get them in, you can't see them. At least the cache is dark. You go, there's a... <laughs> deer trail. Now deers are amazing. They can go up and down that. I ain't going down that. Gotta get over to that point. Yeah, that's the Wacho Cliffs. That's where the pirate them buried a treasure. Once I get down here, then everything gets easy to the oil refinery. Yeah.
little shady spot now. Deer hang out under that tree, they might. Gotta be careful, don't grab these things because they're grabbing thorns. Uh, I wonder if I can get it down here. Uh, looks like you can do it. Yeah, I definitely ain't coming back this way. Because you'll never remember the spot that you came exactly. You'll have to go for a new path of boring bullshit. I have to slide down that. <coughs> Looks normal. Yeah. Grab a hold of me. Oh shit! Yeah. Whoa. All right. Made it. Now I take a break. Switch out the camera. All right, back on here. Switched out the cameras. I'm gonna head this way to those cliffs over there and then hike back down this coast. We'll see how far we can get to that, you know, on the jetties. I don't know if I can hike on them or not, but we'll see. It'd be kind of cool if you could get out the end of that jetty. But I ain't doing no man. Get a double angle on this one. Get the footage going up and the footage going down. Actually, if it had, because you could have, when you hike the island, you get a strap one camera on a helmet facing backwards. And one, that way to get both directions in one go, you know. <laughs> kind of hassle, but. It would have been doable. Nice day, you know, rough, but nice and breezy. Ugh. Big olive shell.
Yeah, I'm just gonna start right here and then go down. Problem with these cliffs. Yeah, you gotta go through deep water. You gotta jump in and swim. It's gotta be a really calm day. Today. All right, heading south for the oil refinery. I haven't been on this coast in about 35 years. Really like to get out of the end of that jetty, but. I don't think I'll be able to do it. Probably have a ton of signs posted. But, I'll find out. Swap the ball pants out for the shorts. Hey, there's birds again. Playing tag. Yeah, there's not much access to this coast here. Pretty much the only people that are coming are the houses down there. You know, that little on it. You're not going to want to climb through all that bush. They need to make a trail through here. It comes out somewhere over there. That way it connects the two bays, you know. Good for tourism and more places to check out. Yeah, once I get there, then I gotta skip down 14,000 feet to the old Mark Marietta Inlet by the Anguilla Landfill and start the next trek from there. I figure that's gonna take eight videos to get to, uh, you know, <laughs> Ham's Bluff. Then you know, once I get to Sandy Point, then you get into some really nice coasts. Some of the best coasts on St. Croix, if not the best. And then I saved the best for last. Down by Annelie. All the swimming holes are. driving a dirt bike down here. That means there gotta be a trail somewhere. I, mean, I did see a old road. Yeah, a little baby lobster. Little molted. Turn the sand. Man, it's hot down here.
Yeah, soon I'm gonna be back on the bush mills, man. Go to all the bush mills I can get to. That's gonna be the real hot, hard one. That's hot. At least the coast you get the breeze, but when you're in that bush. Yeah. A motorcycle came through this way. Yeah, I could go out that way. Pretty far, the main road up there. I don't know where all of these trails go to private houses. Now, the main road's about 1,500 feet up in there. <sighs> nice shady spot, man. Cotton. Through the mangroves. That's a heavy piece of and she need them on. Yeah, okay, Maria took that one out. My mansion obey it was getting a serious breeze over there. Not much wind in here.
dousing there. Hacks <sighs> under here, man. Like a cement tree. I'm sure. Good man to you. Ooh, it's getting hot. Make a swim in the murk of water, man. Yeah, that next section down there on the other side of the oil refinery. Kind of a challenge. Figure out where to park. Had a good bit of erosion on this coast. Maria Line. Yeah, Maria Pass. About 18 miles over there. On the tip of St. Croix, like Point Udall. We came along here and missed Sandy Point by about five miles. Sandy Point got the real wind. There's no development out on that point though. We lucked out with Maria Mine. We still got hit hard, but it would have been a lot harder. Those old mansion hill trees make some really good table bases. Real tough wood. That's not, this one's not a match. Not sure what the name of that one is. Well, that's a Kenip tree mine. It's a good spot to look for old artifacts. Under the tree root ball. Oh, wow, big gold chain, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. we. Yeah, it's definitely a canip tree. This bears a fruit you can eat. <laughs> Somebody put those rocks there. What a conk graveyard, them. Cool looking piece of wood.
honk everywhere. Got a Wilson. Just stuck on a desert island. You got somebody to talk to, man. Let's stick a big bloody hand on there. Well, that jetty's a long jetty, man. There's a little beach wedged in between the jetty there. That's on like man-made property. Yeah, I'll have to see. That's an Australian pine right there that's growing up. They're a little tough tree. Is that a little hangout spot? Too small to be a house. These birds, man, they're playing cat and mouse. Yeah, for anybody who doesn't know, you know, that doesn't know St. Croix, that oil refinery originally was named Hess, Ovik. Uh, they started in 65. And then it, uh, Venezuelan company bought half into it. And then it was Ovenza. And then it went out of business there for about five years. And then this new company's running it, Lion Tree Terminals. That's the name of it now. It officially just opened a few weeks ago. But it's only running at about a third of capacity. They used to produce about 500,000 barrels a day. Back in the 70s, it was in the Guinness Book of World Records. It was listed as the cleanest oil refinery in the world. And uh, I think at that time it was the second biggest. Can't remember. But now I think it's the eighth. It's about the eighth largest oil refinery in the world. It's a big place. It covers three square miles. Roxanne. Yeah, they, they employ 2,000 people. Plus the, all the subcontractors and all that. My grandfather was second in command back in the 60s. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, he died. Century plant. You know those century plants? They call them century plant, but they're actually like a decade plant. They shoot up that stock in about 10 years. Throw all the little baby agaves out. And that's it, 10 years. There ain't no 100 years. And they start all over again. Now you're 35 years like being on a different island. Felici mine. Pirate treasure. He got some theories that the Ark of the Covenant was brought to St. Croix. I don't know much about it, but whether I believe that or not, I don't know. But. Hope we don't get another hurricane this year. 
That's an old rum bottle, 1800s. Add it to the collection. Old bricks. Old anchor. Aha, uh -huh, Jack Spanier. That's what they look like. A little wasp. They like to sting it. That's the first. See Jack Spaniel on a coast like that. That's the way I'm going to go out. There's a big yard there. Cut across it. Get to the road. Definitely don't want to go through all that bush. Hmm. Looks like we're going to get wet here, man. Take a break here. Trudge through the water. I'm right, gonna go over the top. I'm gonna check it out. Alrighty. Took a little break. Bagged up my shit. Probably gonna get wet. Wait out that way. I was hoping to stay dry in this trip. Man,
getting cloudy, man. I think this is that field, man. I could cut through to get to the road on the way back. House right there. Can't remember. Everything looks different from down here. And Google Earth. Through the sloth zone again. Shut the camera here. Take a look, see, man. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get out on that jetty. They got infrastructure out there, and if I walk out there, I think you're fucking with some shit. You know, I'm not gonna do it. I'll go to that first bay if I can, but not all the way out. Yeah, 
feel like I got rain. I gotta go through the floss zone here, man. You know it's wins, man. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, I wish this was a calmer day, man. Some big waves coming. under there, man. What the hell?
Boy, I really don't want to go back to all that bullshit. Uh. Damn shoes are full of sand. Private little beach mine. Nobody comes here. No access. Unless you go through the slash stone. I found Tom Hanks' raft, man. Bamboo. Probably came from another island. Imagine if somebody was stuck out in the ocean on that. Pretty cool, man. This is where the treasure is. Buried in there. Captain Jack Sparrow, man. Heat water here.
rocks under here. Boy. I definitely don't want to go back through all that, man. I'd have to go up in his house. All around. I definitely don't want to go through that, man. Ugh. Yeah, you get knocked out in an area like that. You get sucked out to see, man. That happened to a guy I know down there by Salt River. Really nice guy. And he was down there with his girlfriend at night. And I guess he had epileptic seizure type stuff, but I think what happened is he walked out on the jetty. Uh, yeah, there's a, a rock jetty down there. And he slipped, probably hit his head. Landed in the water, drifted across the bay. We found his body like three days later down in the mangroves. Ah, well, that was a slosh. Hope I didn't lose the other cameraman. You got it. This bag going close. Take a break here, but I got to get out another way. I don't want to go through all that. Back on. Cut my leg going through them rock parts. Yeah, that's pretty good sloshing. A lot of sharp rocks under there and you can't see them, you know. Really don't want to go back that way. I got to get up by this house, man. There's a road up there that cuts over. I'll holler out. If they don't, I'm walking through it, man. I ain't risking my life to go through there again. 
Been hit by some rogue waves, smack you in the bank, knock your head in there on them short rocks. Yeah, that's a cool cave, man. I bet the Indians were nesting in here back in the days. Yeah, that tree was wedged up in there from Hurricane Maria. Look at how high that surge just blast everything in here. But I bet the Indians were in here. The Caribs, man. Cooking up some head soup. <laughs> Rocking skulls. I yeah, surveyed up there, but man, that's full of razor vine, man. It's got this vine with thorns on it. Gnarly crap, man. And the road is that way. That's what you gotta go through. Got a cool little beach here. Nobody come here except for the people in that house. There's absolutely no access to this cove. Not a bad spot on a calmer day, you know. It's all sand out there. If I could go up by those houses, but I gotta slosh through all the bullshit again. I gotta get up through this way. Do not want to go through that again. I think that's the last house. And that road cuts up to the main road. Where I got my truck parked at a friend's house. I we'll have to go back that way all the way up through the bush. There's a long way. Four miles of bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot about those cliffs, man. I don't remember it being so deep. I think the hurricane, you know, sucked a lot of the sand and stuff out of there, got deeper. So, you know, it's rougher now, the waves break bigger. Yeah, I gotta figure out what kind of structure over there. Got myself in a predicament here, man. I had a sun coming out. Light it up. Yeah, it'd be easy as to hit the road from those houses. But you gotta go through all that slosh though. This house here would be easier, but got that steep bank there. I don't know what that structure is. Yeah, old house there. I could get through that spot. So I gotta get to that road. There's no way you could be able to get to that road down here. We do have a gut that parallels the oil plant, the uh, oil refinery. Well, I really don't. I've never been down that. Could be really dense in it. If I go up that, 
That's a lot longer hike back to the truck. Yeah, I'm not gonna go out in that old jetty. I don't think I'd have enough battery power to get out there on this. I could film with the other camera, but and they got them piping and shit out there. A lot of them people freaking out, you know. <laughs> That's the coker plant part. They put that part in. That's the newer part of the plant. See, this bush is impossible to get through. No way you're going through that. that sloss on there. I'm gonna have to go up by that old building that's there. It's gotta be a road. Oh, that's the end of that gut. No way in hell are you going up that. That's the gut there. No way going up that.
one of the most secluded pieces of coast right here. There's just no access to it. Like walking up to some kind of alien wall, man. Yeah, I'm not gonna hike down that. Yeah, maybe it's better not. There is no signs, but I guess you just stay on the outside of the fence. Well, if they see you, they might freak out, you know? I don't know what. I guess you have the legal right to hike along this edge. But there's no way I want to crawl on these guys. It's a 4,000 foot jetty, you know? That's one hell of an obstacle course to go over. I should go up. We get a quick view up there. Maybe we could see an oil tanker or something. See what it looks like up by the fence. Boy, they really uh, protect this. Not even the hurricanes do nothing to this. Yeah, initial here. Let's see. Date on there? I don't know. They don't have a date on it. Yeah, all this rock comes from the local quarry. The blue stone. Yeah, you can't really see the, the other side. Yeah, it's two and three quarter mile from this jetty to the other side. That's some serious hoses there, man. Well, let me see how it goes down here. I walk on this lower part. Yes, as long as you're on the outside of that fence, you're all right.
Caribbean. Now, this is a long chatty man. A lot of material. just the first section of it. An obstacle course. I think I'm just gonna head back. You're not gonna really see anything from there. Unless you go way out in the end. That battery ain't gonna get me that far. Let's see how it goes. Get to that one turn. Yeah, I just wanna get back. Figure out how to get through that house area, get to the road. There's no other way. Back to the slush. No, I'm breaking an ankle in here, man. Nobody around. I do better here barefoot. A lot of tonnage, man. Hundreds of thousands of tons. Yeah. Make a pit stop here. I think I'm not gonna bother. Start going back. Figure the way back. Yeah, I gotta head back. Very little battery power left. Not worth it, man. That's 4,000 feet of these boulders you gotta walk over. And it's all just industrial stuff.
And I think the end of that jetty is the most southern point of St. Croix. He's going to be here for thousands of years, man. <laughs> it's here to last. Watch out for this type of plant here. It's got a lot of liquid in it. It's like real gooey. Step on it, slippery as hell. Yes, Jetty's been here since the 60s. And all them hurricanes, they didn't phase it. Things I'll take this out is a big tsunami. Doubt they'll ever dismantle it. If the uh, the oil finery goes kaplunk, man. But someday it will. Already did once. Army train in here. Have the troops run over this stuff all the way out and back on the jetty.
remember the name of these things. Bull up something. figure out how to get out of here. It's got to be by that house that I don't want to go through all that bullshit. <laughs> Alright man, over and out till video 18. Yeah, back on here. Found a path here. It goes up to that house road. I'm gonna try going up it. I really don't want to go through all that. And that going up, you're going against the current. And I get sloshed around. Pretty cool coast here though. Very private. No access. There's definitely a trail here though. I don't know where this comes out. Goddamn shoes, man. I keep in time. And that's a pretty well beaten path here. Back on the trail. The other camera, the battery cut out. Never been on this, so it's as new to you as it is to me. Check out the Kasha, man. It's in bloom. Got these little yellow balls in it. This is what them giraffes eat in Africa. Acacia. Believe it or not, that's what supposedly the Ark of the Government was cladded in, and then they cladded gold over it. I'll see where this trail goes. A lot of garbage along it. That fence is all on the other side. It has, has property. No, it goes along the fence here. There's a 40 foot trailer over there. I wonder if I should just walk through that way. Now, that's private property, but just, you know, just trying to get out of here. Somebody's been coming through this way. This is pretty beaten down. Maybe this goes all the way up to the main road. It's definitely, definitely not an animal trail. Well, if it does, I learned something new. So there is a way down to that beach. And not much people know about this trail. Yeah, that oil refinery. They got like four square miles of property. Basically everything on the other side of that fence is the oil refinery. Holy crap, zone. In the swamp land. Look at creaking bushes. Oh, I don't want to run into any uh, creepy people, man. Way back in the bush, you know. Now, wait a minute. Don't tell me this thing ends right here. No, no, it keeps going. And couch all the way back here. It's pretty creepy when you go up in areas like this, you don't know.
must must go to the main road. If it doesn't, I'm gonna have to backtrack. And I'll cut through where that 40 foot trailer was. Mansion here, man. Death plant. They call it little apples that bears a death apple. So poison. Really didn't want to brush up on it. There's a lot of them in here. Yeah, that's all mansion you yeah, this is the plant you want to know when you live in the caribbean do not mess with it that's what they look like when they're young to get you the main road. Road is a road. If anybody says anything, I'm just gonna say I was hiking the coast, had to get sloshed around the cliff. <laughs> oh, where the hell did this go? Ugh. Another road. That goes into the Hess property. No, nope, this ain't no dead end. Time to rent a tree. Maybe it's just an access road so they can maintain this fence or something because I mean it pretty much parallels that fence. Problem is, I guess this has got to be on the outside.
Yeah, St. Croix is a pretty big island. There's a lot of history here. A lot of stuff to explore. I see they had over 235 plantations here. 115 of those wind-driven sugar mills. A lot of stuff in the bush. I guess this road. This some kind of access road to do repairs on that fence. And it goes on oh, way. Gotta get to that main road. I will shut the camera. I mean, it's like, well, I can just run into the battery goes. Yeah, that's what this road's got to be. It's got to come out of the main road. Nice breeze. This will be a long video if I can put all this footage. Kind of strange that to put the road on this side instead of the inside on their property. Maybe they own this too, and they just did an easement. So basically, they'll come out on the main road. I hope so, man. I'm gonna walk back. I don't have to cut up by that trailer. I think I hear vehicles. Uh, strange to have these private property, no trespassing signs. But yeah, they didn't have any out by the jetty. Not one. So I guess you could hike on that jetty, but you gotta hike on the outside of the fence. But I'm not gonna do it. All those rocks, 4,000 feet of it. Go. Now I'm on the inside of a fence. Shit. I can just get to hear them cars climb over that fence. I mean, you got bob wire on that.
Well, I guess I'll have to go all the way back to where that trailer was. Get through where the house is. I mean, I gotta climb over this shit. I'm gonna go to the top of this hill. See. Yeah, because this part's paralleled by fence, man. The other part said one thing. There's somebody dumping like frig a refrigerator down here. There's gotta be some kind of access to this. People dumping garbage down here. fix that fence and damn they don't even need a fence there nobody's going through all that bush <sighs> some thick stuff see that house that road goes right out to the main road that's taking me a lot longer There's a building over there. No trespass. Oh shit, the houses are. That's the main road. And camera shut off. The road's over there. There's no trespassing. No holler on me, I can get out over here. Uh, that's got to be the way. Never been in this part of the neighborhoods. I'm going to kill a camera here. Okay, over and out, man. So, video 18. Peace. Back on here. Yeah, I was walking uh, back to my truck on the South Shore Road. I go about another mile, but anyhow, yeah, I discovered this. This is one of those old slave quarter things. It looks like somebody crashed into it. Recent too. I mean, they just pushed this over here. Somebody must have really just smacked into this because they wouldn't have knocked this down like that. 
It's just kind of interesting as we're walking by. As you know, it's one of those slave quarters. There's ruins all over St. Croix. Never really looked at one of these. They have these little holes. They have this little notched out hole. I don't know what that was for. Oh well. Nothing lasts forever.